to proclaim We will be jolly, merry and gay The saints of March in the Renaissance Day The battle has ended And thus, Ghana, your beloved country, is free forever. He endeavored continually to bring us freedom and liberty. Ghana. The Progress Party supports wholeheartedly a policy for the Ghananization of the economy of Ghana. <laughs> It's a lovely scene with beautiful colors, red, gold, and green. The PMP says no to scarcity. The PMP says no to indignity. The PMP says no to humiliation. The PMP says no to all that has been negative in our national life over the last 30 years. of March 1957, when the Goko successfully get their independence officially. Ghana. Ghana is the name. Ghana. We wish to proclaim. Wait a minute. When we win, I want the victory to be for every Ghanaian. No matter which party they are in. He endeavored continually to bring us freedom and liberty. Ghana. Ghana is the name. Ghana. We wish to proclaim. We will be jolly merry and gay. The saints of March in the Day. It's a lovely scene with beautiful colors, red, gold, and green. With a black star in the center, representing the freedom of Africa. Ghana, Ghana is the name. Ghana, we wish to proclaim. We'll be jolly, merry, and gay. The saints of March in the Renaissance. The past two years or so, about 30 women, five women have been killed, and that's what the trend of the country. the state of March 1957 when the Goko successfully get their independence officially, Ghana, Ghana is the name. Ghana, we wish to proclaim. We will be jolly, merry, and gay. The saints of March in the Renaissance. Let 
everybody get up early on Sunday and go and vote and vote for a better Ghana vote for a better man vote for prosperity for all and vote for equal opportunities for all and let the people of Ghana reclaim Ghana may God bless you all thank you this day will never be forgotten The state of March 1957 When the go successfully Get their independence officially Ghana Ghana is the name Ghana we wish to proclaim, we will be jolly, merry, and gay. The sins of March in the Renaissance. Yeah, yeah, you. I tell me, John, Mama, and this is double, double. Hey, so, hey, I tell me, say, and this is double, double. John, Mama, and this is freedom and liberty. To proclaim, we will be jolly, merry, and gay. The sins of Martin Day. I am neither an Abudu nor an Andan. I am an Abu Dhabi. With a blaster in the center, representing the freedom of Africa. Because you are a former president, will still pay you pensions and give you protection and take care of you as long as you respect those who came after you. You have to ensure that democracy matures in such a manner in Africa, where the previous president does not make it his business to fight the current president. You must allow the new to lead with all their faults because you were the same. It doesn't mean you are perfect. The young ones who are coming after you will challenge the current one. No African leader who is on retirement should lead from the grave. They must all be like all other progressive former presidents who are statesmen at home waiting for courtesy visits and consultation and attending to honor state functions. Those are the duties of former presidents because Africa must be stable. Africa must go through democracy at all times. And elections in Africa should never mean the blood on the floor. We Africans must hate seeing our own blood. All right, good evening. Welcome to this edition of the show. Thank you very much. I've been reading your text messages on our Facebook page, and we do have a lot to talk about tonight. Uh, Eid Mubarak to our Muslim friends, and of course, uh, a brilliant Muslim lady will be here to share, us, share with us uh, how we end Ramadan tonight and uh, rest tomorrow and celebrate the Eid on Thursday. She'll be here to tell us a lot about that. Earlier today uh, at the Tuesday market uh, here in Accra, presented by the Ghana Exim Bank and Trade, there was um, a visitation by Al Hassan Tampuli, who was there to look at the products made in Ghana products within the Islamic context, Islam, uh, religious diversity, and trade. We'll be showing you a bit of that as well that occurred today. But our main story tonight uh, is about what you see on the touch screen right now. What is on the touch screen right now? Let's, let's get to it. It's a, a book entitled The Sex Lives of African Women. It's written by Nana Dakua Sichiyama, a vital treasure. A, a vital treasure. Uh, that's what. Um, 
Bolu uh, Babalola said about it, the uh, sex lives of an African woman. Uh, okay, so that, that sort of ties in in our story tonight. And, and tonight we're here to explain the law, the positions, the different... Oh, sorry, let me take out my piece. I'm always on the phone. I'm always on Facebook. So forgive me when you see. I'm on the phone 24-7. You know that. Those of you call me and you hear... Uh, the number you are calling is on another line. I apologize. I'm just always on the phone. I don't know what I would have done without a mobile phone. Uh, it's 28 minutes at the top of that, 10 o'clock. This is good evening, Ghana. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Uh, we're, going to, we're not going to read this book tonight, but it has a lot to say about what we are doing tonight. The sex lives of African women. Uh, I don't know whether the European woman and American woman is different, but we're going to deal with this very seriously. Tonight, we want to let you in into the cybersecurity law. We are discussing, of course, the police case involving uh, Mr. Wami here, the media personality, and uh, one uh, Henry Fitz. We're going to have a detailed discussion on that. What we're going to do tonight is to show you what the police are, are, have been told and what the process of summons is. Uh, many people have said that... Uh, Sawa so has sued them. She hasn't quite sued. She had made a complaint to the police. We're going to explain all of that. And uh, thankfully, we'll do it in Akan and in Ghana as well, uh, so that we can carry uh, all our parents and our grandparents on board. So welcome to the show. It's going to be a very interesting show of teaching. Because of the extensive text messages that have come to our uh, social media page as a result of this uh, publication of our flyer, we want our, our text uh, message uh, social media editors to read some of the text messages before we start the show. I'd like to begin with you, Anziba. What are people saying about what we are about to do? Okay, Abdullah is saying, a man is guilty until proven innocent, and a woman is innocent until proven guilty. Face must stand firm. Hashtag victory awaits. We also have Kofi McDonald saying, whoever advised Sewa must be an unintelligent person. She should have allowed this matter to die naturally within a short period. Going to court will allow the media space to continue the discussion, thus adding more damage to her reputation. Antoinette? So we have Lily Walls. She says, good stuff, Paul. At least some people will take some lessons from this. Men will be mindful when sharing certain videos and women will be mindful when choosing sexual partners. Victims will also know the remedies that they could seek from offenders through the competent courts of jurisdiction. Asori Baba Ebenezer says that is very bold of Sewa. At least the ruling will liberate in Ghana from immature practice of leaking the nudity of women. Jake Koba also says it's too late for her to recover her image. And then Elvis Addo also comes to say she was with a married man. Let's forget about the video. There is nothing nasty in the video, but she has no moral right to be with a man who is married. What do you have for us, Angelo? Elvis again says very controversial stuff. He says there is no image for her to recover. She slept. This is Elvis saying this. She slept with a married man for money. Let's forget about the video. There's nothing nasty there. She has no moral right to sleep with a man who's married. And she was the MC to this man's marriage ceremony. Again, this is Elvis saying this. No, no more dollars says our problem is not the extortion. That's when we know it's wrong. Our problem is she slept with him. He who is an alleged fraud boy, he says he can't substantiate. Why you can't substantiate? Why do you say that the person is a fraud boy? Anyway, lastly, uh, okay, that was all to be read. Right. Oh, no, I can't read this. Paul, let's go back to you. Ah, so we're already getting messages that are uh, unreadable, unprintable. Okay, welcome. There'll be a lot more time to read messages tonight. All right, so let's get straight to the story, shouldn't we? Um, uh, one more thing before, please forgive me. Today is a very important day. At, uh, and producer, please get me the write-up of the birthday man. I, we didn't talk about it. The write-up of the birthday man. I need to read it. Uh, it's a very important day, so we need to celebrate 60 years of in an outstanding Ghanaian. Uh, a completely outstanding Ghanaian uh, who is celebrating his... Please, let's just, let, me, let me sit here so it doesn't, it doesn't confuse it. Because sometimes when we are doing the videos, you are seeing something and the picture behind you is something else and then it's different. Okay, so I, got, I have a camera to take me, don't I? Correct. Thank you. My producers are excellent. Okay. In the circumstance, I have only John Mahama with me, but that's fine. Good evening, President Mahama. All right. So um, I have something important to do before I get to the Sewa Mihir story, isn't it? Um, the, there's a, there's a, uh, a celebration today, 60 years of an amazing Ghanaian, a, a terribly important Ghanaian, an instrumental Ghanaian, a true Ghanaian who went abroad, came back, and came to serve Ghana with his skills. Talk of went abroad reminds me of the scholarship story that I'll be doing later on, but forget about that for now. This is a celebration of a Ghanaian 
Incidentally, as we celebrate him, he also celebrates his son, whose birthday is today. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, it is my utmost pleasure to introduce a montage celebrating the big birthday, a very, very, very happy birthday to you, the indefatigable Minister for Education, Osei Aweduchum. This is for you. Happy birthday to Osei Aweduchum, and I was particularly moved by what uh, the Honorable Minister wrote on social media. He says, double birthday celebration. Today marks a special day as my son, Nanayao Jr., and I celebrate our birthdays. Both of them, incidentally, were born on Thursday. Nanayao and Oseyao. Uh, um, happy birthday to us both, he says. As Minister for Education, I am fortunate to witness the transformative power of education every day. On this occasion, I'm reminded of the importance of nurturing young minds and empowering them to reach their full potential. Reaching age 60 is a testament to the blessings of life, the wisdom gained, the opportunities to serve. I am grateful for the support of my family, colleagues, and the Ghanaian community. To my dear son, Anayal, may your birthday be filled with joy, laughter, and endless blessing. You bring light and happiness to our lives, and I'm incredibly proud of the son of the person you are becoming. Here is to embracing this new decade with gratitude. Oh, a new decade? Why is it 20? Okay. Uh, embracing this new decade with gratitude, resilience, and commitment to making a positive impact in education and beyond. That's a fantastic message from Osei Aweduchum, from all of us uh, here at Good Evening Ghana, Metro TV, and uh, I believe I can speak for entire media fraternity. Osaya Educhum has been such an important punctuation in the politics of the Akufado government since 2017. His first foray on the Joy FM's news file as Deputy Minister of Education gave a lot of hope and confidence to the millions of people who were listening to that news file program that the guy speaking on the radio it's a great educationist. Nobody had heard of him at the time. He was in Parliament. People knew him. But when he spoke on Joy FM's news file for the first time, I had the interview. I called the people that I wanted to interview him. When he came here on Good Evening Ghana, those days when Laboni Educhum was completely fantastic. We forged a friendship and a relationship with him. As you can see, he invited us here to his office to show us. He's, he's a, bit, a bit like Dr. Baumia. He's very data-driven. He's very Americanized in his orientation. And he's a completely great man. What Educhum has done, which you cannot take away from him, is that he has clearly introduced to the Ghanaian education, uh, Ligua Franca, if you like, STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Educhum is the STEM minister. Everybody calls him that. He has firmly ingrained STEM. 
the development of STEM in secondary education in our lives is going to turn us around, make us better than Japan and China in the future. That will be Dr. Iduchum's dream. Iduchum will hope that by the time he's 90 and 95, Ghana will be a very powerful STEM country. We can all promise him that because if that happens, it will benefit anyone, everyone uh, in the country. Osei Iduchum has also been mentioned as one of the potential running mates for Alhaji Muhammad Dubaumia. An announcement that is due soon. Will it be Osei Iduchum? I don't know. But the announcement is due very, very soon in this month. Dr. Baumia will name his running mate. Whoever, whether Iduchum gets it or not, Iduchum has definitely paid his dues into this Akufuado government, particularly at the Ministry of Education. From deputy minister to minister, Osayo Educhum has stood tall and showed Ghanaians that he is passionate about STEM. And this is a minister who has a portfolio that can be marked. You can mark Educhum every month and he will tell you what he has done. You can mark him every two weeks and he will tell you what he has done. If the kind of seriousness that he attaches to his work in terms of his understanding of education is the same that we have had from many ministers in this fourth republic, Ghana would have been like Japan by now. I can say more, but tonight we will leave it here and allow him to celebrate in peace. Let's play the montage again. Osai Oduchum, from the very depths of our hearts, we wish you a great birthday and we wish your son uh, to be great. The Bible says that the glory of the latter days shall be more than the former. So whatever you have achieved, may your son achieve double of it. Osaya Oduchum, happy birthday. Here's the montage again. Get back to the story now. Um, um, uh, people are telling people are texting. You know what somebody texts? Let me read it. It says, Master Paul, wait, wait, wait. I'm just packing. I'm watching on my phone. I want to watch on TV. I'm entering that. Wait small before you start. Okay. I will wait small before I start. Uh, the sex lives of African women. All right. We'll look at that in a bit. So, uh, what is the story? We're going to get to the story. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Was the soccer penalty a penalty? I'm getting to football now. Sorry, sorry, viewers, forgive me. So, drama, drama at the Emirates tonight, at the tail end of the program, at the tail end of the game. Bukayo Saka uh, here beats Manuel Neuer, the German goalkeeper. Uh, the defender is here. The goalkeeper appears to have brought him down. Now, you see the contact between Bukayo Saka and Manuel Neuer, who is one of the best goalkeepers in the world, I'm told. Uh, but I, I still think that Edwin van der Sar is better than Manuel Neuer. Those of you who know football, you know Edwin van der Sar is. Uh, because I believe Edwin van der Sar is better than Peter Schmeichel. Uh, but here we are. Manuel Neuer is one of the greatest goalkeepers of all time. The German goalkeeper who led Germany to win the World Cup in 2014 in Brazil. Now, he brings down, obviously brings down Bukayo Saka, the Arsenal superstar. This is a penalty. What happens in the game? The referee does not allow the penalty. Referee says the game is over. Recently, it happened in basketball in America. What are the rules about these things? Sports, come in and tell us where we are on this one before we close. So what was the... How was the game, though? It was a feisty game. I didn't Please. get to watch. I was preparing. It looked like a feisty game. Very feisty. Uh, no Arsenal and Bayern Munich. Yes. Uh, so for the past uh, four meetings, Bayern has been scoring Arsenal left, right, center. Mm -hmm. uh, the last time they faced in 2017... The two scores was 10-2. So 
Arsenal was so, 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 so vivid to win this match. Mm -hmm. And they started very well. 11th minute, Saka scored. I saw that. Very good goal, yeah. And then Bayern came back 2-1. And then last minute, this ball, this ball. So, in football... The only reason why I have to say, I have to be biased. The only reason why I didn't like Saka's goal is that it clearly mimics... The goal he scored against Man United last oh, yes, season, yes. particularly think, the same style. I think it's he moves this way, twists his yeah, left yeah. over. To, I was I was surprised that Manonoya could not pick that ball. He's trying to carve a niche for himself. You know, Robin. Remember Robin? And Robin, the yes. Same type of goals that he's. Incidentally, scored. ironically, he yeah. played for Bayern. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, um, so in football, when there's a clear contact, when there's a clear contact in the box, impeding the player's movement, it's a penalty, whether it's intentional or not intentional. They changed the rules in 2023. So at first, it was based on the referee's discretion. But they changed the rules in 2023. So now any type of contact, whether it's so far as you are impeding the person's movement, then it's a penalty. So let's uh, have a case study. Talk about basketball. So let's talk about football. So you can see Saka, he was complaining to the referee. So what the happened? The referee blew the whistle. Right on, after right, this. After this, he just blew it. Did he make a decision on this? He, he said he won't listen to the VR. He has closed the match. And VR was drawing his attention. He has closed it. That's his discretion. He has closed the match. So this happened. Let's go back to he was complaining. Let's go back to 2020. This was Manchester United, if you remember. Mm -hmm. It was during the COVID time against Brighton. So uh, the match finished in the 95th, uh, in the 95th minutes. Mm -hmm. That was Brighton equalized, making it 2-2. Mm -hmm. And we closed and we went into uh, the, you know the changing rooms. So then the VR called the referee that Yo, oh, I remember. something happened. Something happened in so the they match. So they came back. They came back the to come and play the penalty in the 99th uh, minutes. That was the latest. Uh, go he scoring. ended and then he, he ended, recalled they the game. To, yes, they went to uh, the changing rooms, but the VAR called the referee, that's Chris Kavanagh, that this is what happened. So go and look at the VAR machine. So the referee should have still listened to the VAR. Well, maybe, you see, this is Premier League. Yes. There, there are rules that govern Premier League, and there may be different rules that govern Champions League. I understand. So we don't know but, but what yes, it's, it's up to the referee discretion. So there are two uh, sides of the coin. There was a contact. But to the referee, there was a contact. But Saka could have rounded the goalkeeper and still placed it into the net. He didn't care. Oh, Saka was not brought down. He, the, the goalkeeper was standing there uh -huh. and he impeded him though. Yes. But Saka could have still run at the goalkeeper and just put the ball in net if you look at it. So he, he didn't lose his balance? The, the, the contact he, didn't make him lose his balance? It didn't make him lose his balance though. Uh -huh. So the referee was saying after the match... Sorry they, viewers, we can't show you the video because yes, the game's yes, a rule. Yes, so the yes, game yes. just ended. We can show you the video another time yes. but not today. So allow us to do with the photographs here. Yeah. The referee mm -hmm. was saying there was a contact. But he could have still run at the goalkeeper, which doesn't make sense to me. He has made, he knows he has faulted. And talking about the basketball game, so it happened in 2024. Mm -hmm. So that was between uh, Louisville uh, LSU versus yes. uh, yeah, yes. Kentucky Wildcats. Uh -huh. So there was a, a last minute shot, mm -hmm. but it was an offensive interference, mm -hmm. offensive interference from the LSU people. Mm -hmm. So the referee should have just said, okay, there's an offensive uh, interference, so I'm not taking that goal. That was the last shot. He made the, uh, the ball 75-74 in favor of LSU. Yes. And he ended the game. And he ended the game. He closed the match. 74 Yes. He just closed the match. He says he's not listening That's to the him. one that's heading for court. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, so the, I, I didn't see the video. So the point you're making is that Saka really could have completed. Oh, yeah, he could have completed. Oh, he could have completed. I see. So the referee felt Saka, look at the time, it was a 96 minutes. He could have just completed it and just scored. But he's trying to look for... But where was this defender? Had he rounded up this defender as well? No, no, no. He could have just rounded the goalkeeper. There was a lot of speed. Just so he could have gone that way and shot the yes, ball. Yes, yes. Simple. Just pass it to him. So he fell down? He just fell down. Waiting for the penalty? Waiting for the penalty. And the whistle that was blown was to conclude the game? Yes, yes, yes. And even this season against Madrid. Madrid played against... Uh, that was uh, Sevilla mm -hmm. in the La Liga. That was March with 24. Madrid scored a goal. While the ball was entering the net... That's when the referee blew the whistle. So and it was oh the Jude Bellingham one. Yes, the Jude Bellingham. Ah, one. Jude Bellingham was showing a yellow card or something. He was like showing a yellow card because he complained yes, brutally. He complained. Yes, and subsequently even showing a red card after the match. Yes, so yes, had, yes, yes. He was suspended for three matches. So now it's about the. Is there something the, against English players? I, I, I really don't know. I think the referee's discretion. Eh? Wow. Uh, so this, this will be talked about for oh, a long it, time. It, it will be talked about. I think they will, they, they might take it to court because it will really worry Arsenal. The second leg that is the next two weeks at Bavaria. Is it a week or two weeks? Two weeks time. Okay. In Bavaria, it's, it's very, very difficult, difficult for them to yes. win in uh, Bayern. Yes, in four outers in Germany, uh, Arsenal has lost every match. Yeah, but no English Champions League club have won in Germany, have they? Yeah, uh, Man United. They the won. 90s, yeah, with Bayern. Yeah, in the nineties. Yeah. Oh, in the nineties. Oh, that's a long. That was a long, time, a long time, time ago. Yeah. 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 So um, this is a very controversial decision, but you know, precedents happen. The Man United one should be a precedent to referees that. No, but that's a Premier League. I, I, I know, but yeah. still, they, they can. This referee should have gone and listened to. So what are Arsenal supporters saying? They are saying it was clear corruption because he was literally listening to 
the the VR gear. They were telling him to go and watch it. And he said, No, yeah, we don't know what VR it. told him. We really don't know what VR. We're assuming that they were telling him to watch it. Obviously, they will tell him to watch it because. Okay, please uh, uh, leave us alone. Yeah. Read up on the stuff. Yeah. In an hour, I'll call you to come back and tell us what the journalists are saying. Thank uh, you. Okay, viewers, that was just a quick one. Let's get the book back. Uh, that was just a quick one just to pass through. Arsenal had entered the Champions League game in controversial circumstances. We did to talk about it. Okay, let's see whether people are now ready to listen to the Henry Fish show or should we take a break? After? Ah, another text has come. Okay, I've settled down. Uh, but which more? <laughs> my friends are manipulating me. I'm sorry. They are manipulating me because they are my friends and I talk to them every day. And if I don't talk to them, I don't have people to talk to. They are manipulating me. Okay, let me take a break. When I come back from the break... The sex lives of an African woman, the cyber security law, extortion, Miss Amehia, Henry Fitz, Henry Fitz's wife, all of them, Koforidia, ba ba ba, everything coming up for total explanation on what is the cyber security law. What can you do and what can you not do? What if you send the video yourself? Can the victim of a cyber security attack, cyber security bullying, can the victim also be the one who filmed it? If you filmed it, can you be the victim? Could you be the victim even if you filmed it? If you sent it to your boyfriend in intimacy, did you ask him to send it to other people? All of those are going to be explained legally on the touch screen tonight. And at the back of it, we're looking at this book, The Sex Lives of an African Woman. After the break, we'll be right back with the show. See you soon. Fortune rise. It's me and my Diane Biara. We are so crazy. 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 It's good to share nutritious meals cooked with Frital, a vitamin A fortified oil. Frital, you deserve a life of goodness. This advert is FDA approved. Fortune Rice, it's me and I'm a Diane Biara. I'm a little bit of a woman. I'm a little bit of a woman. Delicious. Said your mom, it's a little bit of a woman. You're a fortune and you're a little bit of a woman. 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 You're Je dan jama wo shin pa na fofo na wo di nura ho ru a e bo me yin kika ya asoro no edi e ye sha mhm e ma won sa ho nshisho mhm e na epu ehuru nsu yi e ye kika ya nkasa Oh, I should be. Me. Ma, the Jama washing powder for front and sashes are kesiye in numaba. A ye in kikayan kasa. Anima. For Jama washing powder, boto tetsi. Can you ma ode beji awari? Hey. Jama. New Jama washing powder. E ma niye me niti. Ne musi ye sham. O hoka fu a o ma wanta di e niti. FD aji e jedi enkra to ya tumu. We are back, bringing you the latest lineup from Betway. Yeah, Betway starts strong with your front two, with free play Friday and swipe bet. I'm a food now. In the middle, you've got all the control, with cash out and build a bet. Plus, with win boost, you can boost your sports bet. At the back, they have smart picks and the partial daily jackpot. You always get way more with Betway. And you want to see. Subscribers have been vetted and approved by the Gaming Commission of Ghana. Bet responsibly. No under 18. Terms and conditions apply. Betway. Get way more. This is a call to you. The dreamers. The ones that see no boundaries. Dreamers take a chance. The explorers that chart their own path. Along the vibes connect the energy. The ones that dare to challenge the status quo. Get connected. 
When others try to think outside the box, you wonder what box. Catch the wave, enjoy the ride. To the architects of their journeys. Every connection is an opportunity to explore every experience. This is your call to adventure. Your journey begins here. Be bold, be daring, be free. Connecting passions, connecting dreams, connecting ambitions. Telesel, connecting energies. Anti cavity, gum protection, brighter teeth, and fresh bread. I'm a fat Missy Way. The patch of Bantama. Much as you. That's a psycho. It's a smile. The fresh breath. Me, Jiddy said we used to kill 360 toothpaste. So, me, kind. Kill 360 toothpaste. That's here. Kill 360 toothpaste. It's a gum protector. What name is Jung Kazan Kazan Kazan? Kill 360 dead the way. It's cool, man. Gives me fresh breath and your confidence booster. <laughs> and you so so feeling to come when you know yeah. Come 360 toothpaste. Happy smile. Come 360 toothpaste. Anti cavity, gum protection, brighter teeth, and fresh breath. Kill happy smile. This advert is FDA approved. In today's modern world. Stairs are a challenge, especially for our elderly and those with health concerns. Navigating them can be difficult and even dangerous, but there's a safer way to move vertically. Lifts and Elevators Limited Company, your answer to a more accessible and secure vertical transportation. Our elevators and escalators, including top-of-the-line pneumatic vacuum elevators, Fuji elevators and escalators, offer a safer and more convenient alternative, eliminating the risks of of stairs and enhancing accessibility for homes, businesses, and hospitals. Choose safety and convenience with lifts and elevators limited company. Elevate your spaces today. For more information, visit our website at www.elevatorsgh.org or call now on 0200-535-515. Lifts and Elevators Limited Company, the elevator people. Welcome. Yeah, then Jama was in part of Fufu now. What did Rahulua? A woman yinki kaya asrono edi. Aye shon. Mhm. A maun sahun shisho. Mhm. Ena epu ehuon suye. Aye inki kaya ankasa. <laughs> oh, I seem to be. Eh, <laughs> me. Ma, the Jama washing powder for front and sashes are kesiye in numaba. Eh, ye inke kaya ankasa. Ah, ne ma. For Jama washing powder, boto tetsi. Can ye ma odebe jia wari? Hey! Jama. Ah, ne. New Jama washing powder. Eh, ma nye me niti. Ne mousi ye sham. O hoka fu a, o ma wanta adi ye niti. FG aje e jedi enkra ato ya tumu. Alive so, alive so. Just like how water refreshes you on a hot sunny day, it takes a refreshing bath with a life soap to feel its pleasant fragrances. Leaving you with soft, smooth and fresh looking skin. You make me feel alive, you really brighten my day, day, my day. Available in lemon, coconut, rose and aloe vera fragrance a life soap feel fresh feel alive
Welcome back to the show. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, yes, I've been talking about this book. Somebody said I should show the book because... Um, uh, so this is the book. It's uh, written by uh, Nana Dakoa uh, Sechiyama. Uh, you get it in uh, Vida Bookshop in Laboni. Uh, and it talks about freedom. Uh, there's a chapter on it entitled Freedom. I'm not sure what that is. I've not read it, though. Uh, but I saw it uh, in the library. And I thought it would be useful for this conversation. So those of you who want to get it, it's uh, entitled, uh, what's the ISBN number? Uh, maybe I'll give it to Mikael to look for the ISBN number and then put it up for those who want to uh, get the book. Uh, it's uh, Dorothy Coombson has also read the book and says that this is just brilliant. And then uh, uh, Bernadine uh, Ivaristo has read it and said it's fascinating. So those are some of the reviews on the book. This is a copy of the book. Okay, now let's get to our serious business. Let's see the two protagonists that we're going to be talking about. So uh, here's a photograph of uh, Mr. Me here, the Ghana Police Service, and uh, uh, the unknown man uh, called Henry Fitz. Well, he says he's quite well known. So uh, this is this is the story. Uh, Mr. Me here has reported Henry Fitz and his accomplices, his assignees, to the Ghana Police Service who have uh, upon the reports uh, issued a summons against Henry Fitz and uh, some of the people. We're going to go into the details. All right. What did we put out in our flyer today? Here it is. We're going to show it right now. And uh, mind you, after this, I'll be doing it in Akan and also in Ghana so people can get the explanation of the law correctly. All right. Uh, so this is what we said. Sewa Ami here makes a bold effort to recover her image by using a complaint, by issuing a complaint and obtaining a summons from the police against those who mounted a dastardly effort to ruin her reputation, including one Henry Fitz. The accused persons are to answer for allegations of extortion and unwarranted release of videos, setting up the, best, the biggest criminal trial of the Fourth Republic, a trial whose potential social media following can be compared only to the election petition 2013. Tonight, we analyze the story, assess the charges, and explain the law in three and uh, in three as well. We'll do it in Ghana as well. You can't miss it. You know that uh, when you go to uh, um, Europe and you are learning, and you tell them you are from Ghana, and they say, "Do you speak Twi?" That's what they say. They are not able to say Twi. Do you speak Twi? <laughs> so tonight we are going to speak Twi. Okay. Uh, yeah. So over with. Now let's get the facts. This is Sewa here, whom who is quite well known to uh, many people. Yes. As, why is the picture hiding? Why is our mayor's picture hiding? <laughs> okay, is that the only way you can get it? Yes, this is better, isn't it? All right. So, uh, so it, it, I've not, I've still not seen the video. I've seen a screenshot of it. I've still not seen the video. And uh, let me see. Let me see whether all my people are watching. Okay. Uh, so, Kofi Menu, are you watching? Ama, are you watching? All right. All of you are ready. <laughs> Okay, we are starting. Good evening to all of you. Uh, those uh, who are watching and those who are watching on social media, good evening to you. We're going to do our best to go through this uh, without emotion and without uh, siding necessarily with any matter. We're just going to deal with the law, isn't it? All right. So a short video purporting to depict Sewa Meher and another person by name Henry Fitz made the rounds online. I didn't see the video. I just saw the image, the screenshot image. So it is said, uh, according to the story uh, from social media, that the allegations are all substantiated, but it says the gentleman in the video uh, was taking care of Sewa. They were in a relationship, apparently. Uh, some monies had been mentioned, apparently, that she was, he was supposed to remunerate her a certain amount of money on a daily basis. All of these are allegations that we cannot now establish because it's one person saying we don't know. But this is what Mr. Fitz is, uh, is reported to have said uh, about her relationship with the lady. Uh, it is also said that uh, Miss Ami here was at, and, and the, for, to that one, there are photographs and videos, so that's verifiable. She and uh, another person attended um, the wedding of Mr. Fitz. Mr. Fitz had conducted a wedding, a very plush wedding at Royal Sinchi Hotel uh, in the Eastern region here in Ghana. It is said that uh, Miss Ami here and another person were invited to um, MC the wedding. And those who went to the wedding saw Miss Ami here and another person emceeing the wedding. I wasn't at the wedding. It is also said that soon after the wedding, Miss Ami here became friends with uh, Mr. Fitz, and the rest, as they say, is history. But inside the history is the detail. Uh, the detail then is that they sort of got engaged in the, I don't mean engagement, but they connected with each other and they were dating of sorts. Okay. So whilst dating, they were, they are reported to have gotten very intimate with each other. And uh, whilst they got intimate with each other, they, they got also crazy a little bit, which is allowed. I mean, everyone, oh, I, I can't see everyone, but people, when they get intimate, they get crazy. Okay. But it's indoors. They get crazy indoors. They get intimate indoors. They don't get crazy at the Accra Sports Stadium. 
but they don't get crazy at the University of Ghana Sports Stadium. They get crazy indoors. So they did get crazy. In the crazy moments, apparently, they filmed their conduct. Their private conduct was filmed. Every, the allegation further says, the report further says, that the filming was occasioned uh, by Sewa Meher, uh, but people who know her say it was done at the behest of Mr. Fitz. It was Mr. Fitz who invited her to video. Apparently, it will not be the first time he's inviting a lady to video an intimate expression with him. Something like that. Okay. So, the police on the 8th of April filed charges against persons believed to have jointly operated towards extorting money from the complainant. Okay, the complainant here is Sewa Meher. So, just to correct what has been happening, Sewa Meher has not sued Henry Fitz. He's made a complaint to the police. So, she is the complainant and the police have issued a summons. It's going to be a criminal process. Uh, so, the difference is that if you look at this, the, the one between the lady, the bank manager, and the lady who took a car or something like that, that's, that's a suit. That's a civil action. That's a suit from the, I don't know who she, I think it was a lady. Who sued? The lady. I think it was the lady who sued to keep the car. That's a civil action. No police, nobody goes to jail. So, I mean, yes, well, it's a different matter. She hasn't sued. No. She has reported Henry to the police. It is the police who are conducting their investigations. And after preliminary investigations, they have issued a summons. Our purpose tonight is to look at the summons that the police have issued and go into detail to tell you viewers what is likely to happen and what is likely not to happen. Okay, so that's what we're going to do tonight. So this is, a, this is a, uh, the 8th of April. The police then uh, came in with this suit. Let's go through it. Okay. Um, the case is entitled The Republic. Now, The Republic is the title of every criminal case. It doesn't mean that the Republic of Ghana is siding with Sewa Meher. No, it doesn't mean that. <laughs> Nobody should say that. It doesn't mean that at all. The Republic versus just means that it's a criminal matter and uh, the um, accused persons, as we call them, the accused persons have been reported by somebody. If somebody comes to my house and uh, uh, steals my mobile phone and I see that he stole my mobile phone, and I don't have the power to chase him. I just go to the police and say that somebody brought his car to my house. The car is car number so and so. He stole my mobile phone. But where's the evidence of it? There's a camera in my house that shows it. I give that evidence to the police. They will not take that hook, line, and sinker. They will now investigate it. If they come to the conclusion that, in fact, the person did steal uh, my mobile phone, they will now issue a summons. And it will be called the Republic versus uh, uh, Kofi Menu or the Republic versus... Uh, my friend Amma, who is watching, or the Republic versus somebody. Okay. So the Republic versus doesn't mean that the whole state of Ghana is behind Sawa here. No, it doesn't mean that. It just means that she has made a complaint to the police about something that somebody has done to her, which is criminal. And so the police will be prosecuting under the auspices of the Attorney General pursuant to Article 88 of the 1992 Constitution. So let's move on. All right. So uh, the Republic versus Edem Savior Keti. I don't know who he is. He's described in there. And then there's Candilov Kwachi, Kwachewa Abebio. And there is Henry Amponsan. He is the key protagonist known as Henry Fitz. And he is said to be at large. So when the police issue a summons against you, they expect you to come and write a statement. And uh, when we explain in chief, you would hear me say something like, yeah, boy, okay, do I sell ban, I'll, betcha, blah, blah, blah. I'll be doing that very soon. Stay tuned. You get that as well. So uh, when, the, when the prosecution is occasioned against you, you have to come and write a statement. The police will give you a statement to write. If you do not write a statement, if you do not comply, the matter will go to court. If you do not comply, the court will rule against you. If you do not comply, a bunch warrant will be issued against you. If you do not comply, you will go to jail. So Henry Fitz will have to comply at some point. He'll have to write a statement. I, I'm sure he has a lot to say. He's already been saying it. So he's, he's going to write a statement. So that's how it is. When it is like this, you, you are supposed to write a statement. If they don't find you, they move to the next stage. They're going to do a court summons. They don't find you, they move to the next stage. They're going to issue bench warrants. They don't find you, they're going to arrest you. They arrest you with a bench warrant. They'll bring you to the court and then they will pronounce a sentence on you. That's how it works. So it's going to be, it's going to be uh, more interesting than that. All right, let's move on. The statement of offense includes the following. Conspiracy to commit crime. This is uh, the offense that is being alleged that they committed. Conspiracy to commit crime. Let me explain to you why conspiracy comes in. Conspiracy will always be part of any charge sheet. So long as the key actors, um, the purported criminal activity was conducted by more than one person. Once there's more than one person inside, the conspiracy charge will come. The conspiracy will make your punishment severe because it will say conspiracy to doing X 
and doing X. Doing X alone is an offense that may take you to jail. But when there's conspiracy, there'll be more punishment to it. So as soon as the police find that whatever has been, has happened, has happened among uh, more than one person, it will be determined as conspiracy. So conspiracy will be the first charge. So this is normal. Uh, let's, let's keep explaining as we go on. Conspiracy to commit a crime, namely non-consensual sharing of intimate image. That's the crime that they committed. They committed a crime, and they're going to, we're going to look at the crime in details as well. Non-consensual sharing of intimate image. That's the crime they committed. And then uh, that is contrary to Section 23 of the Criminal Offenses Act 1960, Act 29, as amended. And then the more important uh, law that they may have been violated, which we're going to deal with tonight, is Section 6712 of the Cyber Security Act. That's the big one. The cyber security as is a big one. The cyber security has suggests that you cannot do cyber, conduct cyber bullying by publishing videos that I don't want you to publish. Publishing videos of me that are this, that we're going to go into all of those details. So hold on, let's get into the next page of the slide. Particulars of the offense. Adam Savia KT, age 29, he's a filmmaker. Uh, two, Candila of Kwachiwa Abebio, she's 31. He's a trader. Henry Amponsa uh, at Henry Fitz. He's at large. So they, they have not seen him for him to tell them what he is. That's why, he's, that's why they don't write whether he's a, a teacher, he's a nurse, or whether he's a doctor. Whatever Henry Fitz is, it will be found out when Henry Fitz comes to the, the police station and is asked that, what do you do? And then he will write that, I am Henry Fitz. You go and see uh, a police officer there standing behind the counter and you say, are you Mr. Henry Fitz? Okay, so fill the form. How old are you? Then he'll say this. And then, what do you do for a living? And then he says, I'm a trader. Then he write the trader down. So the reason why Henry Fitz, uh, people are speculating all sorts of things that Henry Fitz doesn't have a profession. That's why they didn't write it. No, it's because they haven't found him. He is at large. Okay, let's move on. This is what they are accusing them of. For that you, on or before the 3rd of December 2023, at Accra in the Greater Accra region, and within the jurisdiction of this circuit court, I should add, did act together with a common purpose to commit crime, namely non-consensual sharing of intimate images. So that's the main offense. There's extortion also in there. But this is the first offense. They conspired uh, in December 2023 to uh, share non-consensual images of another person being the complainant. Let's move on. Statement of offense. It says, non-consensual sharing of intimate image contrary to section 67 of Cyber Security Act 2020. So it is said that the three accused persons had conspired to share images of the complainant uh, contrary to section 67.1 of the Cyber Security Act uh, Act 1038, which is very recent, passed recently. At the end of the day, we'll tell you why the Parliament passed the Cyber Security Act. Let's let's move on. Particulars of the offence. Um, um, that is, is, is a repetition. That the same thing. The two of them. Uh, okay, so let, let this is a bit more. Let me read it. For that you, on the third of December 2023, in Accra, in the Greater Accra region, and within the jurisdiction of this court, did intentionally distribute prohibited visual recording of one Sewa me here without her consent on social media handles. That's the detail of the offense. That the three of them, Henry Fitz and the two others, uh, in Accra in December 2023, uh, intentionally distributed, prohibited visual recording of Sewa me here without her consent on social media. Okay, counts three, statement of offense. Sexual extortion, contrary to Section 66.1 of Cyber Security Act. And we're going to learn uh, the details of that offense as well. It says as follows, the three of them, Henry Fitz and two others. This is what it says. For that you, on the 3rd of December 2023, at Accra in the Greater Accra region, and within the jurisdiction of this court, did, with an intent to coerce Sewa Mihir, to pay a cash sum of 5,000 Ghana cities to you, did threaten to distribute prohibited visual recording on the social media handles if the said amount was not paid to you. Mm. It's getting interesting. But why are they demanding 5,000 CDs? Why not 2,000, why not 1,000, why not 10,000, why not 40,000? 
Where's the figure 5,000 coming from? I'm not sure about it. As I read on, you will see it. Figure 20,000 also emerge. Let's go on. All right. Sexual extortion, contrary to section 66 of cybersecurity. This is the next one. Okay. For the three of them, Henry Fitz and the two others, this is what they were reported to have done. For that you, on the 2nd April 2024 at Accra, in the greater Accra region and within the jurisdiction of this court, did, with an intent to coerce Sewa here to pay a cash sum of 20,000 CDs to you. This threatened, uh, you did threaten to distribute her prohibited visual recording on the social media handles if the said amount of money was not paid to you. We will therefore assume, we will assume that um, because the video, as has been seen by people now on social media, for which reason this summons has been issued by the police, that the video um, uh, did not emerge in December 2023 because, as it turns out, it would appear that Sewa Meher did oblige the payment of the money. So it would appear that Ms. Sewa Meher obliged to pay at least 25,000 Ghana CDs to Henry Fitz and the two others who were threatening her that they will share the video if she doesn't pay the money. That's what the summons seems to suggest. Let's move on. Okay, now we're going to understand the law. So we, so we get... We get the offense. Sewa Ame has gone to police to complain that these people have shared my videos. Uh, they had come to me in December and said that they wanted 5,000. I must have given it to them. Uh, they have come again and said they wanted 20,000. I gave it to them. It would appear that at some point she was unwilling to continue to pay. And so they decided to publish the videos. But there's more to that. There's a lot more to that. It's not as simple as that. Let's get to the details. Okay. Non-consensual sharing of intimate image. One, a person shall not with intent to cause serious emotional distress, intentionally distribute or intentionally cause another person to distribute the intimate image or prohibited visual recording of another identifiable person without the consent of the person depicted in the intimate image and in respect of which there was a reasonable expectation of privacy both at the time of the creation of the image or the visual recording and at the time of the offense was committed. Let's break this down beautifully. A person shall not. Okay, so Paul Adomotri shall not. With intent to cause serious emotional distress to Amagana. Intentionally, deliberately distribute or intentionally cause uh, to distribute the intimate image or prohibited visual recording of Amagana to uh, Evans Mensa without the consent of Amagana, who is depicted in the intimate image and in respect of which there was a reasonable expectation of privacy. This is very loaded. Let's get it down. Let's break it down. So it says that if I go and distribute images of another person, Amagana, to one person, the law, however, says intentionally, deliberately, because it could be inadvertent. I can send my video to you inadvertently. Haven't that happened before? You send a video, you say, oh, I'm sorry. Did, what, what did you see? Say, then somebody calls, hey, Charlie, watch your phone. No, you are pressing, pressing something. Some video has come to me. Then I say, hey, I'm sorry. What's especially the group chat? I have had that many, many, many times. I'm sending something to one of my children. I put it on Precise 1991 platform. Someone says, hey, you did crazy. What you put on it? I say, what is it? Say, hey. <laughs> So the word intentionally here is meant to manage that process. So it will avail as a defense to anyone if he says that, yes, the video got out, but it wasn't intentional. That will be a defense because the law says intentionally distribute or intentionally cause another person to distribute. The law qualifies the mental state of the person who is distributing and that must be assessed by evidence. To determine whether he did it deliberately or he did it inadvertently. That's very important. I'm not so sure why they put the law like that because this is a very sensitive matter. So I'm guessing that Parliament should have made the law straightforward, similar to defamation. If you read the laws on defamation, publication is publication. This is intentionally, unintentionally. You can bring it up in the trial as a defense, but the law shouldn't circumscribe that. Because if the law says intentionally, and I say I did it unintentionally, it's a mental situation that the court must assess. 
And if the courts are assessing a mental situation with the criminal standard of beyond reasonable doubt, it is unlikely that the court will come to the conclusion that beyond reasonable doubt, what is in my head was that intentional. How do you know that? It's in my head. I said it is not intentional. You ask me what are the circumstances. I show you. The circumstances are that I didn't intend to. It was just a mistake. If I say it's a mistake, I'm out. Because the law says intentionally. I have a problem with the law. I think parliament should have another look at it. This intentionally, intentionally they put in here, it is reducing the prosecution's power to be able to convict beyond reasonable doubt. It is. It is definitely doing that. Unless you can tell, and it is so, especially in the case like Sewa here, where the matter is very complicated. I'll give you a situation that's not complicated. A member of parliament for X goes to have an encounter with a secretary of somebody at Ministry of Defense. He doesn't know that he has been filmed by the lady. He doesn't know. And then the next day, he gets a call from Joy FM. Uh, Sir, we have received a video of you. Were you in Takwadi at the weekend? You know, policians are going to be very... I mean, I was Takwadi, so what? Don't ask me. I can go anywhere. That's how they're going to respond. I've been doing this work for 20 years. I know how they respond. And then he said, polician, calm down. Mr. Honorable, calm down, calm down. We have received a video of you uh, in an intimate situation in Takwadi. Then he panics. He says, where? He says, oh, it's here. Can I send it to you? He says, yeah, send it to me. He sees it. He says, but where did you get this from? He says, well, journalists don't disclose their source. Is that you? Can you confirm that is you in the video? He says, yes, that is me in the video. And I know the lady. And I was with her. That one is straightforward. The honorable didn't record it. The lady must have even not been the one to record it. Maybe they put a camera in the room where he was. He didn't know. He's... he's uh, uh, NDC man, MPP are looking for him. They knew he was going to Takrade. He's a Republican. Democrats are looking for him. They knew he was going to Birmingham. They put a camera there. Whatever. All of that can happen. That's what this law is supposed to protect. So maybe the lady didn't film it, but she was directed to go and conduct the affairs in a place where cameras were already placed. It happens in politics. So, and in business too. So, that kind of situation, when it's published, they are going straight for the lady. Because this man didn't film it. The lady can say all sorts of things. But this Sawa Amihe one is more complicated. Why? Because the victim... Can you give me back Sawa and... Uh, I'll come back... To, give me Sawa and the police and Henry Fitz. I, I want to do an illustration so people can understand. Uh, I'll, I'll finish quickly, viewers. Don't worry, I'll finish quickly. Uh, okay, so... That, yes, great. The victim here, Sawa Amihe, the victim, is also the one who filmed it. That's getting complicated. Keep session 67. I'll come there. The victim, Ms. Amehia, is the victim, clearly. But she's the one who is said to have filmed it. And we don't know whether she did. She may come and say she denied it. She hasn't spoken about that. But Henry Fitz is very firm on that position, that it was, it was Sewa Amehia who filmed it. And she has not yet come to deny or contradict that anyway. She may, I don't know. But for now, we can work with what we have. If she is the one who filmed it, and Henry Fitz alleges that Sewa Amehia is the one who sent him the video, in a situation where he said he was he wanted out of the relationship and she was trying to coerce him to keep in the relationship so sent him this glorious video uh, which will excite any man and uh, perhaps ask him that do you want to get out of this relationship? are you sure he may he must have said okay he doesn't want to get out anymore whatever but the victim is the one who filmed it and the victim is the one who first transferred it how are we going to deal with this matter? I'm not the court, I'm not the police. But the prosecution will have to climb all of these hurdles. Remember, the prosecution are going to prosecute with a very high standard of conviction, which in law is called beyond reasonable doubt. I'll be explaining it later on in other languages, don't worry. Beyond reasonable doubt. The other, the other standard is, is, is different. I won't talk about that now. But in criminal standard, it's beyond reasonable doubt. How are you going to establish beyond reasonable doubt that it was Mr. Fitz? who had the mental element and intentionally distributed it, intentionally caused another person to distribute it, intentionally, intentionally, intentionally. I'm not so sure whether the law is fortified in favor of victims. But this is going to be very complicated. That's why we think it's going to be the biggest trial. She is complaining, but she is the, she is the videographer. The complainant is also the videographer. The complainant is also participated in the distribution distributed it to him but there there's something in the law that protects her because it says let's get back to the law let's get back to let me read that yes great okay a person shall not with intent to cause serious emotional distress intentionally 
distribute or intentionally cause another person to distribute the intimate image or prohibited visual recording of another identifiable person without the consent of the person depicted in the intimate image and in respect of which this is the critical part in respect of which there was a reasonable expectation of privacy both at the time of the creation of the image or the visual recording at the time of the offense so this line here reasonable can i underline it uh i can't okay well all right let me let me move on that there was a reasonable expectation of privacy this is what will save sewa mehias transferring the video to henry fitz this one protects her that she there was and there has to be a reasonable expectation of privacy because the two of them had had an encounter an intimate encounter it was private she videoed the intimate encounter it was private and so she has a reasonable expectation to expect that the video that i'm sending to you mr henry is private between us she doesn't expect that henry will intentionally distribute or henry will intentionally cause another person to distribute if henry says yes it has been but it's not my intention already get me the photographs of them again already the story that henry fitz is suggesting is that when the video was sent to him it was on his phone he says and i don't know whether he has evidence to show he says he has two phones one of which is what uh, madame sewa sent the, the the video to him but those both phones are lost that there's record of the phones getting missing that he came to some party at east Legon, something something and he was talking to somebody and put the phones on the person's car he realized later that he didn't have his phones with him he says video evidence shows that he deposited the two phones on the vehicle and then the vehicle sped off after he had finished talking to the guy in the vehicle he realized that i've left my phones on that vehicle but the guy had gone they were unable to retrieve it some one way or the other that is what he says now those things he's saying will cover him in the intentionally that's why i'm worried about intentionally being in the law because if that is so then he didn't intend to publish yes you send the videos to, to to him it was on his phone and you are protected of course why is protected because he said a, a reasonable expectation of privacy he is also protected because intentionally protects him he says i didn't intentionally do it and he goes on to say that oh but i have other videos if i really wanted to do this these are the other videos i would have published during the trial he may present the videos to the court if the prosecution asks him that do you have the videos where you claim that you because you have to ground your case and you have to deposit the doubt so that the prosecution is unable to prove beyond reasonable doubt you have to show the doubt what is the doubt oh but i have videos the court will say his lawyer will ask the court can can uh, the accused person show the video to the court and the video that will not count as publication no it won't they may ask the journalist to leave and do it in camera so the journalists will leave, but the concern will be there. You know that because the lawyers are there, they will be there. So the journalists will take their bag and they will happily leave because they want the thing to be shown because they will hear it. So he will show that I have this video. Look at it's a show video number exhibit uh, number five from PW one. They will show it. His video is there. If he has it, they will say, okay, show the next video. After he has showed five, the judge may say it's okay. Don't show any more videos. And then he will say that yes, my lord, this is the video I have. So if I really had intention. To cause her emotional distress i won't be showing the video that she sent to me that's nothing this is major but i don't want to do that so i didn't deliberately send that video i the video went out from my phone everything but it is unintentional because the law says intentionally that's going to be complicated that's why i call this the biggest criminal trial happening it's not simple it's going to be very complicated so i don't know whether that's why he's smiling this way but all his photographs, he's smiling like that. But Sewatu is smiling nicely, and I'm, I'm happy about the way uh, she's taking all of this. So this is the situation. This is what the law says. This is what is going to confront the law. Once he's found and he writes a statement, this is what is going to confront the law. The police are going to be confronted with They have to go to court and prove beyond reasonable doubt. The, the lawyers from the police have to show this. Okay, so they're asking me to go on. Um... Uh, where was I? Yes. So, reasonable expectations. So, viewers, let me know what you think. Those of you who are lawyers, write to us. Good evening, Ghana Official on Facebook. Tell us what you think about this. I'm not done at all. 
We're going to the other matters, but I'll be done soon. Okay. This is uh, extortion. Those who took money from her. That's more straightforward than the publication. Taking the money is more straightforward. If they did take the money, there will be evidence. If they did tell her why they are taking the money, there will be evidence. That's directly straightforward. Let's see what it is. 66. Sexual extortion. 1. A person shall not threaten to distribute by post, email, text, or transmit by electronic means or otherwise a private image or moving images of another person engaged in sexual sexually explicit conduct with the specific intent to a harass threaten coerce intimidate or exert any undue influence on the person especially to extort money or other consideration or to compel the victim to engage in unwarranted sexual activity okay for the purpose of subsection one and two an intimate image may include a depiction in a way that the genital or anal region of another person is bare or covered only by underwear or the breast below the top of the areola that is either uncovered or clearly visible through clothing a person who contravenes subsection one or two commits an offense and is liable on summary conviction to a certain number of uh, uh, is liable on conviction to a certain number of uh, of years etc etc hmm I've already done 30 minutes on this matter. I thought I'll do 15 minutes. So this is interesting. The image they are talking about, if the person is in a ninth wear or some kind of image so that you can see his body, I think it relates more to our women, doesn't it? Uh, very little for men, but more to our women because they are describing all of that. We, we have been debating in the studio whether we should show you a photograph of an image uh, that we can depict what it means by areola and all of that. Okay. Uh, I hope this image works and uh, I hope people don't get offended. Can I write on it? Uh, tell, ask them. Uh, so the, the, the point being made over here, uh, the point being made over here, uh, no, sorry. Uh, can I? No, it doesn't work. Okay. So the point being made over here, viewers, is that uh, uh, with, uh, I'm sorry to show this to you, but so when, if you have a photograph of an image, anything below here is offensive to the law. Anything above here is not offensive to the law. Anything below here is offensive to the law in, in respect of a woman. In respect of a man, you can take it off, please. In respect of a woman, it is, um, in respect of a man, it is the, the genitalia. So that is the image. So when the image is showed in the court, it will be looked at whether the image has uh, passed the test of failing the law. That's interesting, isn't it? It's ironic. You pass the test of failing the law and then the prosecution is on. So this was, going, this was likely to happen. Some people say, so I shouldn't have gone to court. Should I have left it because it's going to open a can of worms? Because the matter that I'm telling you, for instance, he's going to allege that, oh, no, I have better videos. This one, if, if, if I want to destroy her it, it, with intention to cause her harm, this is not the video I'll show. I have this video. Are you sure you have this video? Show to the court. They show to the court. The court convinced and said, oh, yeah, the guy has more videos. But the people in the court will see the video. They will see it. So I mean, as a public person, There'll be so the court's bailiff, the guy sitting in front of the judge, there'll be one, two, three of them, they'll see it. The judge, his, his lordship or her, her ladyship will see it. If Henry Face has 17 lawyers, they will see it. If the prosecution comes with lawyers, they will see it. So oh, I mean, here's a complaint, and she'll be there with lawyers, they will see it. So at least you're gonna have 40 people in the room who are gonna watch that video. One person tells another person it's 80, another person, another 120, one person, this, another person, tells another Facebook. Da, 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 da. Does she want that? I don't think so. So that begs the question. Is it a good way to go on this matter? But shouldn't, the, the other side is it. Shouldn't people be punished for doing this kind of things they do? Shouldn't they? Let's come to the reason why the, the law was put there in the first place. Let's come to the reason why the law was put there. Uh, uh, producer, I hope I've covered everything that we discussed, haven't I? Okay, so this is how the law was put there. There's a guy called uh, Empress. The full story of how Empress Leak owner and name anderson was arrested now this guy is there a story behind okay this guy in the that you see was taking delight in collecting people's video and threatening them that i'll show it i'll show it and come and give me money he was arrested at the time he was arrested there was no specific law to deal with this matter so he was prosecuted on criminal offenses act uh, in section 18 is that under the constitution 
Article 18. Uh, is, that, is that it? Can you show it to me? So he was prosecuted under that. And then it was thought by parliament that we should institute a cybersecurity law. So Acts 1038 came in. So this is the history. So the question uh, that bears is that, should Sewa Ameha ignore it because of her public image and pe- because of all the things that are going on? Or uh, uh, she, should, um, she should go ahead and let the guy be dealt with? Can the guy be called a classic cyber bully? The extortion part is easier for the police and Sewa to achieve. We don't have all the details of the extortion. Henry Fitz has not come to tell us the, video, the details of the extortion. He's only told us the, videos about, the details about the video that was filmed and how it got out. But in terms of the extortion, he hasn't said anything. She paid 25,000 CDs so that they don't put out her videos. Or allegedly so. But she didn't want to pay more. Of course. She shouldn't even pay one CD. The question again that Henry Fitz lawyers might be asking her during cross-examination is that, did she report the supposed extortion or blackmail at the time it happened? Because that's what you have to do. If you don't do that, it would appear that you are, uh, you are complicit. If people are blackmailing me, I don't report it. I just keep paying, 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 paying. The, 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 what happens with blackmail is that the first time that you are called and you decide to report, you report and then you go with the police, plain clothes, to go and donate the blackmail uh, ransom so that the person is arrested red-handed. If the person is not picked up red-handed that way, it becomes difficult to assess. If she didn't report, she kept it quiet, paid 5000 kept it quiet, paid 20000 kept it quiet. People say now they want 30 you report how is the law going to look at it? Is he an accomplice on the five and 25 and then she can be treated as a victim on the 30 i'm not sure how the law will deal with it but these are the matters that are going to come up uh, in what we think is going to be the biggest social media so i have to watch this space and uh, we, we pray that it will be fine but it's important for young people and social media users to understand some of these laws that exist because People get crazy, and that's allowed. Young people get crazy. We are old, so we don't get... When we were getting crazy, there was no social media. If I get crazy, you can't tell anybody. You can just stand in Legon Hall and say that, Paul, I don't want you of come. was a stupid boy. Pa. Yesterday, do you know what he did? Yeah. That's it. Nothing will happen. Today, people are not as protected. Because I can... The other day, I was sitting somewhere at a chop bar. You know, I like doing those things. So some guy was filming. I said, hey, Charlie, why are you filming me like that? He said, oh, it's okay. It's for now. That's okay. Come and let's take a picture. So he came and I stood there. I said, yeah. And I did that. Yeah. And then I wasn't doing anything wrong. I was just by eating my food. So it's fine. But back in the day, people would have just said, oh, come on, Dumo came to eat here right now. Oh, Tommy and Anforsen came to eat here right now. That's all you hear. But now they'll say that, hey, to see an apple, I don't want to be different. Hey, open the new, shh, shh, I mean, so, shh, 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 me film me, well, 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 those things are dangerous. Because if you film me, me, and you go and put it out, I will go to session 67. The police will come after you. I don't want you to know that I'm eating big fufu. I don't want that. And you film me. But the guy, he filmed me. I say, you can, can, come. Let's take picture. Let's take picture. We took picture. So life is different. So young people, be extra careful. Young women, be very, very careful. The, the craziness is sweet. You know, they say that uh, the speed that thrills is the speed that kills. Those of you who drive fast cars, you know. I, I don't drive a fast car. I don't know yet. I'm hoping to get one soon. But those of you who drive fast cars, they say that. Is it true? Tell us. They say that the speed that thrills is the speed that also kills. So this... Uh, you know, we get intimate and we are crazy and we have done all our things and we have video, Charlie, can, 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 can. Now we have a video, Charlie, blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's the two of us. We are having fun. We are enjoying it. Oh, yeah. I love her to bits. She loves me. Hey, it's dangerous. It's very, very, very dangerous. Be very careful because always remember. So what I'm here, Henry Fitz. If you remember that, you don't take video and, you know, whether you are starting like in the middle or you finish, you say, honey, can you do a video for our memory? You say, oh, yeah, why not? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Be careful. That is the reason why we have conducted this program. Be very, 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 very careful. Let's conclude by going back to um, our, our, our uh, flyer. Put that up. Let me wrap it up that way. Put up our flyer. Let me wrap it up. It's 20 minutes stop. That's 11 and then we can take our text message and go to the next story about, is the Islamic lady here? Fantastic. Okay. Uh, so we said, Sewa Amihe makes a bold effort to recover her image by issuing a complaint and obtaining a summons 
from the police against those who mounted a dastardly effort to ruin her reputation, including one Henry Fitz. The accused persons are to answer for allegations of extortion and unwarranted release of videos, setting up the best criminal trial, uh, setting up the biggest criminal trial of the Fourth Republic, a trial whose potential social media following can be compared only to election petition 2013. We have been analyzing this. I hope that we have done a good job with the analysis. Let me come to you, Mikael. What did you find about Henry Fitz, uh, cameraman? Uh, uh, no, they can pick Mikael on uh, organizer. Camera two, please pick Mikael. Camera two, please Mikael, and then uh, let him tell us about what he what he he got about uh, Henry Fitz. Let me listen to him for my uh, presidential chair. <laughs> so, what uh, did you find? Very, very interesting. So as the last night, when you told me to look into this thing, I went online, was looking here and there, was looking at what people were saying. Uh, Henry Fitz, I, I don't know the man specifically, but from the information I gathered, it seemed that this whole incident has uh, showed a bit of erraticism because he was talking on, uh, posting some things on his Snapchat, talking about how uh, he's a very honest man, he's a very sincere man, but this entire situation has painted him in a certain light. And so even though to the media and to the public he's been presented as the one who is uh, outing someone to be, quote-unquote, a whore, he is the innocent one and he has his proof. He says that he has ways of proving without breaking the law that this individual, Sewa Amihere, was actually with him performing certain acts. So, at least from his perspective, the things that he is saying about himself, he, he seems to be uh, uh, the one also fighting the narrative. So there's a narrative that has been portrayed that Sewa Amihere is this way. She's fighting it because she believes that her reputation has been damaged, and so she's going to the courts. Now, Mr. Fitz is also saying that, well, actually, he is the protagonist of the story. He also has a fight to fight, or he has a... Uh, uh, to clear his own name and show that. About the extortion fits. Uh, so he said, there are some things that I don't want to say because they are his allegations. And I don't want to involve myself. But has he denied things. the extortion at least? N n not necessarily. He, has he talked about it? I didn't say anything like that. What yeah, he did say was, was that, uh, I won't give, go into much detail, but he said that she has benefited from some money that came from being associated with some friends of his and so on. That's, but it's that not, the lady benefited from some money. Yes, that comes from uh, being associated with some friend of his who came from the U.S., something like that, and you've taken the money and now you're saying this and that. And so that. his understanding of the story is that he's collecting money back. Oh, is not that what necessarily. It is? But like, he benefited from some money. Is that more like he's extortion? throwing allegations back at her. Yeah, but she's alleging extortion. Yes, indeed. And he's not denying the collecting the money, but he says this is money that you owe me or Oh, I don't know if you'll go as far to say that, but he did throw the allegation that you who say that you have been extorted, you've also collected money from some of the others I know. Some, I'll mention that. But collecting there. money cannot, is not always extortion. Not necessarily. Yeah, you can collect money, but that's not extortion. Extortion is a threat. That if you don't pay the money, I will do this and that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so what's he saying about that? So his thing is... It was like, there was this man who I connected you with. You went and you met him. You benefited largely from this relationship. You Another relationship, not with him, yeah, with some other somebody guy, else. Another man. That he, Henry Fitz, connected her. Yes, yes, yes. I saw that. In she one of who was his date's partner. I, he I saw connected it. her. Yeah, yeah, I, I saw, I saw oh, her. I see. Yes, and he said you have that, and then you were speaking with another person, your mentor, and saying that, you wanted to bypass it. <laughs> Some funny stuff. Okay, let's get the uh, account translation uh, working now uh, before perhaps we get a the break and then we, get, we go to our uh, festival of uh, Eid Mubarak, which is coming soon. Okay, uh, they will give me the montage in account. I'll try and do it very quickly and say, I hope that I will be saying. Aha, it's here for Sema Banu. Nasem Ketua. About 10.47. Pacho, you a friend of uh, Sawami here, Bibrina Nimno. Uh, you know, be my friend Henry Fitz. Uh, do you know more Snapchat? Nay, more muta call, it be a mu peep near the day, eh, eh, in Quakwana, eh, any, eh, eh, a Mariana, no, my basso, no, mu peep, you know, eh, between age twenty three, cobe thirty eight, no. It be a more more was snap, no, yanko cradi, nimno, but it be a more more snap, no. Henry Fitz, I'm saying, Munim, no, pa. Eh, or it be a mufa, or a big boy, Sandy Beckano. A big boy, ah, oh, oh, chrome, oh, chrome, ah, fine. But if we go for you and buy, 
asama wa hone se, saa ene fisi, ako ye, e, o ye wedding. O ye big boy ni into, ase na eh, 2019 uwo, sika bibi wone se, mse diabe kano no. Na, eh, kwa ye sano, o ye wedding ke siye pa, e wo eh, royal sinchi, ah, e wo eben eh, akusumbo. Na, sa royal sinchi wedding no, e mini fobi bri ni kubi. Mi de, sabi menya invitation, but nye bibi ya. Eh, se wa mi here, eni na danfo, eni muko MC sa wedding no. Na, nse mi chile se wedding ne chino, E, se wane e, Henry efa e, omoye ayonko fo. E, Bibrina e, bisi bisan sem se ne yeden no bi awaware awane ne kofa ayonko na ndenye ye yasem. Inti ye de asem ne ye ye ka achire mo. Se se de, se e, ye fita o se ye tuntumo o e, 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 se ye bubron kusu ya o. Ye de ye ni ye, ye, ye ka yasem na achire. Achire no e, ye juma ne se ye be ka asem na achire mo. Na se wo be fane se ye bubron kusu ya na se bako se be fane se ye tuntumo ene ye na mwa fane sa. Inti sewane eh, Henry no enya ayankofa. Ayankofa no kodane impenatwe. Na impenatwe no mnu na eh, se Henry no chile se. Eh, sika na ospende wa sewa. Na edo so pa. Ah, chese wane sewa ye. Se ni abroni beka no mwye body bodies. Ah, impenatwe no mnu. Na eh, saa time imu na eh, se. Impenatwe no na na eh, video bibe piye mu. Henry no chile se video na eba eh, abonti na ye eh, no. E ye se wana ni chua video na bra o ni no e, e, e dampem sebe. Na e, sa video ye pia maman fo she. Na gana amra ni chile se. Unti mi nye sa. Enti no. E, video yi ba o se last week o se bibisa. Na ko foka huwa sem. Ano pe ye sore ya se nura o se ano pe. E, ye mi aba se wa. E mi se ni buwe fupa. Enti wako kache polis fo se. Omu mpe hen fisi no munche no. Na nye hen face nko ha hen face ni nipa menu bi omo kane ho e bobo bo mu din wa ha ye mpesa nipa menu ye nche omo menu nyina e free say o se sa nipa yi omo abejis ka woni ho 25000 senka omo de omo de omo chen video bi a ese mami o video we o ye phone so wa ma is ka ye be ye pia bonte sa video no o e hen face wo mbi a ye ne ma o ye ya abra na oni hen face e twen pana no Inti ye ne se, se sa video ya kodi obi sem dia, ne ne Henry ne de ma omo so mbeji sa eskane wo beho. Inti, eh, ma mi sa wa anya ne de, se de obi ya anya ne de, wo kache police fo. Police fo so a start se eche, she, Henry face. Henry face, si be si na meka se, se enyume no man hounu di amini, but anope de no man hounu. Ba, ye ba studio ya ne ye she asna bo ye ko ND22 ye, na asem bi ambaye. Ba se sa be no machi ne di amini, se unim se, O machina na wati wo radio bisi se o machina pacho text yen good evening gana official ni yen kain so machina but ye ye ba start it program at nine o'clock ye no mu nyanche ye cheke ye o mu nyanche anyway enti no asema o mu se se wa se police for m m m fa kwe dun bo henry fitz kwe dun ay abono ne ye emi se mi en san eh ba kone se wo henry fitz wo ni nipa bi a koshe be bia ye kanana a pese wo mbe gu se wa mi he ni ma se a video bi a e time ana nka wo ne ne twim pana na mo twa ye no mo wo sa video na pese mo de kira man fo na mo de gu ni hu fi na mo de gu ni hu ni ma se enti ye be che mo e fi se gana mra em em pene se wo be ye sa e de atia obi fofro a ono so ye gana ni henry fis no kire se ono de only time o de gu se wa mi he ni ma se e fi se ono o ye o ye ni ni pa ban o ye no e so se se wa de no if it's on a big businessman, so I become a big boy. Big boy, and trust you won't be brave. Wow, tia, say, what's your say? Now, honey, big now, I church a big boy. I say, won't you say, from a down for the business and say, oh, more count, you say, you'll be a big boy. I'm not just saying, now, I'll bet you I'll say. Also, I a big boy, or someone must have it. In China, no, no, baby, good, who feel about tea. Ah, that should be the mother, baby. In China, some master, what can I do? On Jack, I cry now, or no, no, send a person, good, any master, video, or one, and your video, kit what? Near coffee, I'm rano. Mrame uh, let, let's go to it, let's go to it. Uh, intentionally, intentionally, please show it. Oh, sorry about this. Take it off. Take it off, take it off. Uh, okay, good. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, me, me, sorry, why? You know, by now, you the explanation being as I say, sir. I'm going to say, hi, Nuni. Aha, no. I'm going to say, Mrame say, Wow, we'll be the video, be upe shedda. A hon in a hamino. Mrame say, intentionally, just a wash shedda. Wa se da pa. Ena wè yi video no. E de akwa chire wubi. Se de be ya wubi gu ni pa wubi video ni wè ni ma se. Henry Fisch ni chire se. Sa wa se da ye wa hei. 
enya no because ono wan shada wan shada anya bibia se wanu na di e twa video no ono di video no send in na ne phone na odi video no send in was our phone no kra no ayira na emra phone no be ira na ne pa be bri ho oso ye party bi o is legal so ko party bi o is legal se o ko event bi ase o is legal na sa event no oso bi be turn the hotel bi be turn dan o se bibi sa oso so ye real estate obi enti no oni ni pa ne kasa no ja phone no ni pa ne ka no so e na o ka no tu ye na o wi e na o hu se ni phone ni o nche no o ko bisa hotel be be o mo ye events ni se oh na mo cameras bi o ha na because me phone na ira e na mo bi e camera no mo se ah se am pass o ja phone no ka no so ma ka na tu ko ni pa o twika no ye o bi a henry face no nim no enti e bi so mo fre no na ni o che ni se o ma nya phone no enti o che se sa video na se wa no de send in no e wo sa phone no so ama e pia bon ti enti se e pia bon ti ya na enye na adwen ya enye ni tiri mo po se sa de no e be pia bon ti na se enye ni tiri mo po de a enye na mra no nche no because mra no se intentionally mra no se e bra e e bra o de video no we si o tiri mo po sa o de video no kwa bon ti ana o de mo obi na ni pa ko no de kwa bon ti se de be ya mo be gu nani ma ase no eno ene to mra no ono se video na e kwa se enye ni tiri mo po because e ono nya sa o san so kasi so se san ko be ya sa de a na ne video so o se wa ho on the phone so no e do so be do be 50 na sa videos no crowd no e ye enia ma wo video num no e no kwa ya se film scene ni a wo ma yi no because no ma yi ndese wa ne twa bre no but ne ono wo na e bi o ho asa wa ne twa bre no bi o ho no aka se de twa e bi o ho mu nyina de twa e no sa videos no wo no e no ya se film kra scene ni aba no nti se ko pe se ogu se wani ma se no no de beba ono na se ma o kanu no he fi se de nim so bo sampo we de catch no sa na na se ma o kanu no ye de nim e na me jira he ka se emra no de wo mu si a chro mra na bibia sentence bia no maka se e se se wa sheda wa sheda cheche video no wa sheda de amo bi o ma creative bibia ni pa ne bo be ka se ma sheda na me ye ye o ka se ma sheda na me ye ye pa na chere se e emra na nya no sa na ti na sa mra we so e criminal e mra criminal e mra no chese se se da da maka wa hada no ye kokota ye ko bua asem na wo a wo se obi aye boni no sa boni no e se wo kire mu tro do 100% wo kire boni na se ko si 95% kra ni pa no be ko fie free e se wo kire boni na se ko si 100% na boni e se a che se ko si 100% no mo tro mra mo se ye nhwe se o se da na na ni pa no be ka se ma nhwe da and I say no one no. Yes, no cress say yes will be now quite a one shadow like a so which records no say one shed down no a was it. In ta sitchen out the bebana say talk out na sum. Na sa sitchen out the bebano. Say a talk out na sum two per cent. Nature say or much me approve ninety eight per cent, no much me prove hundred that or moon to me prove senior bruni cano beyond reasonable doubt. And then I just see a proof assembly through do and two could them. In t the way assembly corner. A baby be a be ha drink a crow court, but ye ain't change for city bissako, eddy ye nim city bissako, by a sea ain't change for. If we say a cojina court, nesse, Henry Fist no be cassa. Sa video we dee, and yem, and yem me timu possa me de bequa cochre will be a dance can be pesa me yes, adia. Nasa say why the videos de a boo me phone so. A be an adjudge na could be such a sa video now see a boo of phone soon tia, o pesa court no penis so say, and yo timu pon be ye me and no, I call you video see you now. You be you be say if brief bony for be in camera. In camera na chere say a Latin word. Yeah, na you take camera na you can say video. I hear you there be camera na you English. In in camera na you Latin. I chere say ye you know what a secret. Ye you know what them I will be anyhow. Until you make say in camera na you be pam and central for some mukwa bonti. Mu amu ne assembly ya wahana amu ye besha dia for no mu ni na amu ko jina bonti. Ebeka. Adam say one in lawyer for Rebecca Henry Fist and lawyer for Rebecca police for any more lawyer for and a uh, judge and then in crop for and I make a say now some of we are a judge and in crop for police for no one way and 50 now some nipa 50 almost just a video here gonna a peck of concern say on the piano or more pound 12 by one and nipa 500 and who ever was three and nipa 50,000 ever more and you may seven and that do Facebook two million ain't you know not me doing who a bisa say Encrophobia cassette say one in this and called the idea we cockot because of the cockot and the same be brave beba. A be muso cassa mon franco cossay. A see a shenan colan colano, monia manomo yeno, a see a canomu jai, 
No mu se mra wa gana e tia sani ya manu. Because in kola wa ma bayi, omu pesa. E bia, omu ko shebe e bina e nijie ba. No mu kita fo ni e chwa ya hon. E ne e ya e se, ni a chia ya hon se. Ni e huri, ni a dani e chi, ni e chwa, ni e chwa, ni e chwa, ni e chwa, sani e dramu fo nsu. E chila na kopi e bebi. Kopi e bebi e de asembe bebi ba. Ti ni tia wa ane se, asema aba, police asema aba Henry Fist ni se wae ni. Ni nchila se ni e. Ti se yi, e asema e te se se ni e kokot. Henry Fist nan kasa diye, sen a police wakana se se yi omu hon no. But omu hon na oba be chwa ni statement. O chwa ni statement yi a edene be kokot. Omu hon na. Omu be twa asem no so. Ye en hon no no. Mi enu na ye hon no. Ye de omu be kokot. Ye be bo asem no. Henry Fist no, wa ma, omu be ishi ubi yon fene bench warrant. E che se be bia polisi mbe hon binyayen che no. Wons fwa wye gana ni a unim Henry Fist no. Ya publishi bench warrant. Se se un hon na wa an che na. Polisi ba be che wons fwa ka hon. In che se Henry Fist no wo ufi ye wo. Abeka la pass ana ofi o easily gone ana ofi o tabora hwe huye na police yehwe no nti ka je henry fe so ra henry police yehwe wo nya se police yehwe na nchere se ya bu no fo ye bu no fo ya bo no kwa edu ba ye bu no fo nti police yehwe na chese onko no onko tro ni statement enye sa eh na afi asem na toaso eh nya ye ne se ye be ba abe cheche asem nim se nya central for it me ye no nti enu e bi nya ye nti e di besi ha afi ye ko kan ne kran ya kan en kran wea ya ko he text messages ye wea ya ko islamic eh, festival thursday ye holiday eid mubarak ni aka ho asem good evening gana twi die ye hwa montage ni fan kon kran give me the montage into ga anya mime wo ba ko mena sane de baji eh onya mi oblayo se wa mi he eh twi oni ye tv benye lele agbona eh henry fish henry fish e ko le o lele eh ko e gboto mo mi o lele she can't blame you, Jibwe. No, if you snap, can you be a Wale Henry Fitz? Actually, if it's a big boy, say, can't get a big boy, say, say, no, be a man, me, you know, she's a church, I can't big boy, can't get a big boy, so, yeah, daddy, yeah, daddy, wah, big boy, yeah, daddy. She, can't get a big boy, eh, nibi, pi, fatai, she, no, no, ba, we, yeah, daddy. It was, yeah, fair wedding, I can't Henry Fitz, yeah, fair wedding, yeah, Royal St. Chi, the bank, I call some boy, hotel, could you, yeah, for, then, change the agenda, yeah, for, yeah, E wo, ni afi wè di yè jen. Se wà ke e nyan yoko, a me afi MC. Ni, na me afi MC e. Sa ni e ke a ke, sa ni e na agba a. A me ke, na afi MC a tan. Se wà, e ke, he fi se, a me ba fi nyan yon. Nyan yon fi mò mi e, ni e ba chon jolly. E wò e ba fi jolly. E wò, mene, e jolly ji mene. Na me yè. Ni 2021 sani yu 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 24 biyane. E wo ni jole sani ba miye. Ake na men fi jole ye. A sham fo ni. A sha. Video. A sha video. Na men e chwen mi ke ni bi a sha video. Na ken video e na a sha. E jepo. E wo men kwe. Ni 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 e jepo last week e. Men ke ah mini sani ne. E wo men kwe. A kwe video e wa social media. E bofo nyo ba ke e trend. Ni e trend wa kwa kwa wa. E wo, lebine nwa bate shi ne. A wye sani e olo lo keje last week. A wye a wye a wye a ke. E gana bi e wo smo kwa konsa. Wa wye a wye a. E wo, mwane nwa te shi ne. Se wa, e te polis. Mine a fi e polis. A ke e polis a ke. A me a mwa Henry Fitz ne. Ke e nyanyo me e nyoko. Mine wa sana a mwa me. A so mwa. A me cha se wa dizemba a mi. Na me ke la ke. Se wa we mwa min ke bwe. Henry Fis e ke kono ko min la ke. Wole a ke. Lele alo. Ano kwa le alo. Ama le lo. Wole. Si e we mwa ni. E ke. Henry Fis ke na ke nyanyi me. A me. Ke la ke. E ke shka ba. Ke ke shka ba. A me ba lik na ke video se ni iba na. E wo shka na bi le. Fes a me bi 5,000. E fi o wa ke. E ke ha a me. Second a me ke 20,000. No one can harm me. If you are walking, I'm a bear coon. The cat when you're done, it's on me. Yeah, it won't harm me. Nay, harm me. No one video edit last week. She added December 2020. Now, but they harm me. When I can video, what could you do? What could you do? December. She won't have video until last week because first 5,000 AP, second 5,000 AP, last one in the KP. E wo, no ji extortion e, a a to a me e. Seken wane, polis e ke, o nye ni mo ko video. 
ni kokele shadio kele sha ke sendibo dio because o kele ye na kan jolo jinye e ba nya sendibo si bo nyo sendibo ko third person ni ni aje ko ni mo fe amakwe ko fe na kan ako ba prison ba court first na ba prison si en fi se san ni we mo mi ke video e na acho se wa den che ni fe video e je le se wa ni fe ni ni se wa fe video e se wa send the video hale mo lele se wa send the video hale no le e ke se wa send the video hale Eke se wa send video e hale ni eke se wa ke e kele ba apa e o se wa ke bi no san o ke ma apa wa ka apa ke ni bi ona ne ke jolly san ni happy all the time me ne ke ko apa ne ke eh ona young people le le na kan e wo e se wa send na kan video e ni ko e ni ke okay je no ko bo e nke bo pa don e fine wa etc etc eh e wo ke na kan video ni se wa send le na kan video ni bi ni o mi e be e be e mi chi Eke here videos denche. Videos denche ne here. Eke to mo 50. Si na kan video se keji e to ni e fite se wa. Na kan video se mo e ba ji. Si je ene ene ebe no ko be mi. E wo sani eni wo nwe ji. E ba a kot. Ke ki kot e. Eke video e ne je kwe. Eko le le la ke e je e fon ne no. Si je le e je be ne fe. Ko ya kwe mla. No ko ban na ye mla mi. Ofane 67. 67, please. Oh, me na men kwa asna bola lo mini. Eh, okay, mefi. <laughs> Ewo, 67 eh, ni yo bie. Ke o kwe mla na angma. Ame ke, ke o ba sende mo ko video eh. Ni, o jekbe. No ji intentionally eh. O jekbe, o fe kado. O jekbe. A ke, o to no fiti mo. Si ke video eh, te no jekbe. Be no le jekbe no ko. Na ka imla chon. E wo oke ake ne ke imla ne accuse bono te kote. Non ni sa no fe ji. O ba chon kote ake. Le la ke video e jepo. Le la ke video e jepo. Yon foun si o jegbe. E wo Henry Fitz se no no e wyo ji. Na ka video ne ba le. Se wa ni ke sen le. Fou ne na ke sen le e no. Fou ne e te pati ko ni fou ne ya laje. Ni laje mo sa ni e me pi li. Because in a fe event e ye, a me a ko kamra ke ba. Na ke kamra ba. Kamra show a ke e shi phone e ye e loli kono. Ni loli e fakete. E le money drive loli e ye. E wo leta a che mo. Shi e ke a ke leta a me na phone e la a me na phone e. Shi ke phone e la je. E wo le la ke moko ba ne na phone e ni ke phone e video a circulate. Moko ba nye fi na kan. E wo a to le alaba e. Je na kan. Eke le fe si e jigbe si mla ang ma miye mi intentionally distribute intentionally intentionally sano jigbe e jigbe e jigbe eke e jigbe noni wo call ji sana me kwe mla agbe ne second one ne se wa ke ame hishka ye de extortion e wo no hu an kwe mi ake ame hishka ye de lo ka ame hishka ye de le sana me ansa si noni wo ke o bla nye eke ke nye ha fan ne neke video video san ne Eh, nye manage. Eh, difficult. Mwafi ama kwa omi yosha o heye, oba fi video. Mi ke mi shen fi o video. Ona. Ke wa kwe bo le wa fi o video. Ke nu kwe wa fi o video. Ke eh, wa te beti. Beti. Na, we ni beti. Wa fi o video. Ona. He. Be wa nya a fi video. Wa nya a fi be. He. Si ke nu kwe ni chwe mi sani e. Eh, ke video ne. Nye fi ke fo fi o. Because ona noni se wa ke fi sani ke ba ne. Aji nani ame, ame fi joli e. Video ko be mi kwe. Ine sani ko be ko. Lo ko jen iba ke se wa ke. Ike bo ek pa. Mene ke ke bo ek pa. Mene ba ji mene tuwe. Mene ji mene tuwe. Ita. Si ni video e ba mine. Ike sani a bo e ba. Sani a bo. A ba uye ba ba o. E wano ni woka ama ke. E nyamon le e ngon. Si. Just be careful. Una. E be gan. Wo fe le fain. Alo. Alo. Ishe eko. Dabi. Wo fe le fain. All right. Oh it's past 11. We have to go to the. 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 We have to go to the Islamic story. But let me take text messages first on this edition of the show. And then we'll go to the story. I'll take text messages now and take a breather and take some water. So, yes, cameraman, please. Uh, oh, you are waiting for me so you don't cross the camera. All right. So, text messages first from Anziba. What's the message? All right. So, we have King Rashid saying, you're a good translator, Paul Adamotri. He said he's watching mm -hmm. live in Tema Gulf City. Isaac Mann is saying, hello, Mr. Paul. Have you realized how unfair society is towards men? Anytime a man has an issue with a woman, she is by default the victim while the man is the culprit. Sewa seems to be getting all the sympathy 
And is this because she's a woman or a, a media person? Now, Mr. Paul, how do we know the leak came from Sarah's end and not Henry? Frank is saying the police should have used section 280 of the criminal code, which talks about obscenity. Lastly, we have Alaji saying, Paul, the intentional is qualified with extortion if there's evidence that she did not pay money to the source to prevent it from coming out. So it's left for the defendant to prove it's not intentional. Antoinette. Okay, so we have quite a number of people who seem to really like the editions that Paul gave. In the likes of Derek of, say, of Derek Jr., he says, your tree is as hilarious as it is nice. You have me in stitches with a seriousness you attach to the tree and the gap editorials. Although I have no comprehension of the gap bit, it sounds even nicer still when you speak it. Very hard guy. We have quite a number of people like Philip or Bing and Lovia says, well done, you speak well both in tree and in gap. Edu James Prince says, his uncle Paulus, I, I can actually not understand anything yet I really enjoyed the gap bit. And Irene Mentor says, you are too good in people. That was quite explanatory. And me, of course, says, Paul, I like how you dissect the program into the two main languages. Your program really shows ethnic balance, and it is a show to other journalists <coughs> to learn from. Um, we also have Joshua Eliquesi Ababio. Um, he says, how come Sewa is the only victim, though? Henry was also in the video, which equally makes him also a victim. We have... Um, Augustine Asari Donko seems to be um, concerned about the fact that Paul is doing the case as it hasn't even been sent to court yet. He says, hey, Paul, are you allowed to do that as you're doing now? Beware of contempt. Nana Ajemondua says, there are, some there are some battles we do not fight. Some issues are left to die naturally. Sewa is the cause of her own problems and downfall. It seems she doesn't have advices at all. Now, Prince Uredu says, sorry, Paul, but actions leading to the release of the video will be paramount in determining whether it was intentional or not. If it's true that they threatened that she pays them an amount, else the video would be released, how can the accused claim it wasn't done deliberately? And lastly, Mercy Sarah Akutu says, very educative program. I hope all take notes and learn from it. Let's see how it goes. Interesting times ahead. Fatty. All right, so Rebecca Hadi Lancaster says, I hope the defendants face tough punishment. Some take delight in people's downfall. See how some Ghanaians are gluten and jumping on Sewa Amihe's plight. Now, Junior Akbar Tamale says, I think this matter was just dying, but it seems the lady wants to renew it. Maybe she wants a way that her name can come up again. Now, Augustine says, the court has tests to determine criminal intent. Mohammed Yusufa says, in the case of this lady, they already threatened her that if she doesn't pay, they'll release the video so that, so that so the evidence of it being released is intentional. Now, Flo Ken also says, the first transfer was with her consent. If the court also realizes that using the literal meaning of a statute can result in the golden or mischief rule. Al-Hassan Mohammed says, but what of the bit of ransom that has been demanded? The ransom would make it intentionally, respectfully, Paul. Now, Godfrey also says, if I send my video to one person, does not mean I want to share it to the world. The guy is at fault. He had no authority to share, and it's a crime. And lastly, Nana Kojo also says, Paul, kindly project section 90 of the same law. It will interest you to know that the circuit court doesn't have <coughs> jurisdiction to deal with any cybersecurity offenses. Now, Kwesi Pedro also says, Henry Fitz said on his social media that nobody has served him any court documents. Now, back to you, Paul. Uh, does Mikhail have messages? Okay, he's not here. All right, cool. <laughs> I was also looking at my own messages. Uh, this one is very, very interesting. It says that, hey, Paul, this is your small, small tree. Can you do the whole programming tree? You said you were going to start a tree, Good Evening Ghana, on Wednesdays. What's happening? You can just do it on social media. You don't have to do it in the studio. Ah, okay. Social media people are crying for the tree. Okay, uh, we'll do it. Uh, Pastor Prince uh, from Lighthouse Church. Thank you. I've seen your message. It's a pleasure. Uh, George, George from Kole Constituency. Uh, thank you. I've seen your message. Derek, 
from Kumasi Airport. Also, good evening, Ghana. Uh, thank you. I've seen your message. Um, uh, uh, Madam uh, Akusha Menu, Member of Parliament, incoming for Adenta Constituency. We love you. Thank you. I've seen your message. Um, okay, who else? Oh, uh, this is my friend, Echo Bryant. Oh, uh, oh, Echo Bryant is talking about football. He says he doesn't like Arsenal at all. He says it's not penalty. Be a Arsenal should clear off. <laughs> uh, and uh, another one. Uh, this is uh, Deputy National Communications Director. He says that uh, I love how you situate the worst case in technical terms. I'm ready to learn more as usual. Oh, thank you, madam. Uh, she was on Good Evening Ghana this morning. She sends me a photograph of she and Annie Ampofu, Deputy Communications Director, NPP. Um, okay, I think that we are uh, getting somewhere. All right. Let's move on and um, let's get to the situation on Thursday. Mujan, that's the name? <laughs> okay, Mujan is here. You know, many, many people like the video that you gave us when you came into the studio. So many people saw it on Facebook. They were so happy. It's very beautiful to see a young woman who are committed to religion uh, the way some of you are. It's, it's really, really nice. How was the first thing? Oh, okay, glory be to Allah. I said, Alhamdulillah. We had a scotchy weather, but at least it was okay. Mm. And you, this is not the first time you're doing it, is it? You've done it before? Yeah, of course. Okay. So what's the situation? Have we done? Is today the last day of fasting? Yes, we are done. Yeah, because the moon has already been sighted around the world. Mm. Yes. Yeah, so so at this time, it. what should Muslims be doing? Just relax, thanking Allah. Uh, getting into uh, eating a lot, drinking a lot to, to, to make for the 30 days of not eating. What, what do they do tomorrow no, morning? No, really. I think I would say the fasting is a training um, section, I would say. So after the fasting, you then have to check yourself and realize your blessing. Okay, let me put it this way. Um, the quality of your fasting would manifest after the month of Ramadan, meaning you need to continue the good things you, do, you did during the Ramadan, not just as you just um, said that, are we now to fully eat and be happy because we are then, yeah, we would be happy because 30 days of worship and then, you know, doing a lot of activities that is unusual in our daily schedule, it's happiness, but then you need to continue doing it. So it's a period of empowering you to be more spiritual towards your creator. At least, especially as you said, we are youth. We have a lot to do. We have fun to make. But at least you should have a minute or a period of time that you need to reflect back to your creator, no matter how your situation is. So fasting period is a period of training us to be more you know, spiritual in any way we can. If I said in any way we come, because we have a lot of way of worship or devoting to your creator. So the, the best way you can, that is what you have to do. Not that maybe you need to do what everybody is doing. No, just you know yourself as an individual. So the best way you can, no matter how recklessness our life is, just give that little time to your creator. And fasting boosts ourselves to have that time after the fasting period. Beautiful. This afternoon at uh, Ghana Exim Bank, uh, the Exim Bank presented a Fasting Tuesday market. We have a seven-minute video on it. We'll show some of it right now. Uh, the headline was uh, Honorable Member of Parliament uh, for Gushegu, I believe it is, Al Hassan Tampoli. Uh, correct me if I got the constituency wrong. Uh, maybe I'm mentioning uh, Mohammed, I mean Adam's constituency, but I'm, I want to mention Al Hassan Tampoli's constituency. I think it's Gushegu. Here's Al Hassan Tampoli. Are you telling me, is it? Gushegu, correct. Okay. Yeah, Gushegu. Uh, Stampili is my minister. He's Deputy Minister of Transport. So uh, he's my supervisory Deputy Minister uh, for those of us who have an executive job at the airport. All right. This is Stampili visiting the Ghana Exim Bank. I think first of all, I have to commend my brother, the CEO, and then my two sisters, his deputies, for this initiative. I'm... I'm I'm a little sad because this is about the 15th edition and this is the first time I'm getting an invitation to come and join us. So I'm asking myself, are they really my brothers and sisters? But nonetheless, I think I'm very impressed with what I've seen here today. It's um, a combination of 
of determination and then innovation and I believe all the ingenuity that it's vested in the Ghanaian uh, you know, entrepreneur. I'm very impressed with some of the products that I saw. More importantly, I recognize the fact that almost every raw material that they use to produce all the products that they display here are sourced locally, except for maybe the containers that hold the products. But every other product that you see have all been produced here. Now, as, as a government, we are happy for some of these initiatives because it means that you, you import less and that means that you source for forex less. And in, conversely, you rather export the products and then you gain some forex for, you know, for the nation. So I think that all in all, the initiatives are very good and they deserve tons and tons of commendation. And on our part at the Ministry of Transport, whatever it is that we are doing, you need to move products from one place or the other. You need to move people from one place to the other. So we are doing everything possible to make sure that the transportation model, the intermodal connections are done well, so that we are able to bring in products to the ports. Now we should be able to move through another mode of transportation, which is by rail. For instance, from Tema to Mpankadam. The next thing we have to do is to develop the inland waterway transport so that we are able to move by barges from the Mami Water, you know, uh, terminal all across to Debre in the Savannah region. And then we are able to export from that place to the Sahelian regions, Mali, Burkina Faso, and sometimes to Niger. So we play a facilitatory role as far as you know, trade and industry is concerned. Because um, a lot of people also import via you know, air, 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 air traffic. And then we also play the facilitatory role. So you bring it by air, and then you move it by road. And sometimes you also move it by rail, and so on and so forth. So all the intermodal connections, we are taking care of them so that we'll be able to play a, a better facilitatory role as far as trade and commerce is concerned. So all in all, I think I'm very impressed with what I see here. And I, I just can only commend my, my friends and sisters here that uh, they're doing a very good job. And I, I, I commend them and hope that they will do even way better. By the time that we come for the 20th, we are seeing more innovations and we are seeing more creativity, you know, that will rival any product. I have seen some, you know, connection with the factory, for instance, in my constituency. And I'm going to engage them so that we see how we can, you know, get you know, positive results that will be mutually beneficial to the manufacturers, to the people in my constituency, and then to me as a member of parliament, so that they will give me funds that I brought investors to the constituency to come and, you know, run the factory. So basically that's what I have to say for that. And Meshito is very different from the rest. It's natural. You can it's expand everything. it. everything. And at the same time... With the shrimp. Every, yes, yes, everything. And at the same time, maintain without any... The shito. Okay. Those, the shuttle we used to eat those days, not yeah. the one. Yeah, those days in, uh, in secondary, secondary school. school. Oh, okay. So you export as well? No, we just started. We just started. You just started. So getting okay, then you can also venture out. And they are diversifying, I can see that. Yeah, so this is palm. Ah, this palm soup. So all you have to do, you put every ingredient inside it. Yes. What you have to do is just to boil the water and pour it and then... Oh wow, life is so simple, yeah, yeah. we used to struggle. So this one, you are going to get a lot of bachelors in town because yeah. if they can cook their own food, so easy, they, they don't need to marry. Which we don't, Mohamed, you didn't hear that. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, this yes. package fish, eh? Yeah. Okay. Because you are one thousand, that's a, that's a package like, like this. Like this? Yes. The one that they said at Bon. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Unbelievable. Wow. Yeah. That's nice. So how long can you preserve this? Three months on the shelf. Three months. That's nice. Yeah. Exports? 
Not yet. We haven't received any export orders yet. Yeah. Unless the packaging is nice. What happens is that you find one person taking it abroad and, and then that's it. and that's all you need. So you need that that uh, one person who opened the doors for you. I pray that you get it soon. Yeah? The packaging is nice, very excellent. This one they serve it in parliament because I don't know I don't know where they usually get this. Oh you get it you do it here. Yes, yeah. Yeah, they serve us in parliament most of the time. Yeah, Oh, okay. Right. Great. Oh yeah, this is a very busy right. very busy bucket. That's a, that's so how come I'm hearing it for the first time? You were give me your pack, give me your Palm wine. Yeah. Hey. Yes. Palm wine uh, packaging is uh, yeah, This is this is palm wine or something. Oh yeah. <laughs> wow. Yes. Yes. These are all locally. Locally. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, so normally if it is in the gallon, sometimes it can go bad, Ferment, right? Yes. Ferments and then, so that this one will preserve it. How long? Two months. Twelve months. Twelve months. fresh as it Wow. Yeah. One year. Wow. Same with Asana? Same with Asana. Hey. And all other local beverages that Nice. So I have to congratulate you for uh, going through this process and to all the young women, especially the women, the young women. So you go to work during Ramadan. Yeah, sure. And you focus on your job. Absolutely. And you focus on the spirituality. Absolutely. Did Allah bring any revelations about the peace in Ghana? Did you pray for the peace of Ghana? Of course we did, of yeah. course. I personally did because, of course, it's uh, election here. So we definitely had to pray for Ghana. Yeah. And I know a lot of people did too. What's your message to all the young Muslim women who have finished fasting and are looking forward to tomorrow and looking forward to Thursday? Um, mm -hmm. We say we are happy, we are done, and then we pray Allah continue his blessing to us, not just the month of Ramadan, but at least to the rest of the month. And it's going to be a very beautiful day, a blissful day, blissful and delightful, because of course, 30 days of Ramadan and then we have to be happy on the eighth day. Basically, the word is happiness on the eighth day. So we need to continue the spiritual upliftment after the month of Ramadan. It's very important because most of the time, you know, I remember when I was young, it's like, I'm done with the 30 days, so I have my time to do everything. But when I grow up to realize that I'm, I wasn't just born into the Islamic religion, but... I understand it. Then I understood that I had to continue even after the month of Ramadan. So we need to be careful and continue the good character because Ramadan will push you or trigger you to be a good person because you need to be a good person. The month of Ramadan, you give out. You Like when you're fasting, you don't say awkward words, foul words. So at least when you even finish the Ramadan period, you need to continue and that will upgrade your character as an individual so we need to continue that very very important and as a woman we need to know ourselves better especially worshiping Allah, Allah in any way we can is very important very, I mean, very important how do you say it i mean i mean yeah the event that will take place the prayer that will take place at the independence square is it thursday or is it tomorrow it's thursday but actually we have some people praying tomorrow yeah okay what's the name of that prayer um salat al eid mm -hmm. that's in arabic so eid prayer in english the uh, night prayers that have been occurring since sunday or so what does yeah. it mean okay the thursday that is from 20th to the 30th day 
we call it like let kadero that is the night of manifestation mm -hmm. okay is it is believed in islam that it is in this month that allah will re um schedule your destiny like yearly it does annually so it is in this and uh, what do you call it faithful or blessed days that is the same day and usually it is cited on an odd day that is from 19th, 21st, 23rd, the odd number in the 10th day, right? So you need to, like, what the kind of worship you did from 1st to 20th should increase in this 10th day. Because, of course, you want to have a very, what do you call it, blessful destiny for the next year. So you need to show, like, give all to Allah during this 10th day. So, you know... During this Thursday, like everybody would increase the rate of its devotion or worship in the month of Ramadan. For you to just um, have or come across that destined night, it's just one night out of the 10th day. But of course, Allah is omnipresent, omnipotent. He chose the, the odd number he wants. So for us as human, we just need to worship him so that at least we come across it and then it's going to be an endless blessing for us. And it is being said, it is... Has Christianity always been one of the religions in the world to you? Oh, hallelujah. Christianity is not a religion. Neither is it a joining of a church and doing the Christian things like praying and giving and so on. Hallelujah. Christianity is the outworking of God's own kind of life received into the spirit of a man. Whoa. This divine life in the heart of a man makes him righteous, keeps him healthy, divinely guarded in life, prosperous and victorious. It gives you the ability to enjoy intimate fellowship with the Father and have dominion on this earth. Hallelujah. This is what awaits you if you will wholeheartedly believe that Jesus is the Son of God raised from the dead and personally confess Him as the Lord of your life. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Join Dr. David Binder on the Good Life Devotion every Monday to Friday on this channel and receive truth that will usher you into exhibiting the divine life. Kindly note that you can enjoy the Good Life Devotion on these other platforms at their stated times. Do choose the most convenient one for you or switch to another in case of a broadcast challenge with your usual platform. By all means, don't miss the Good Life Devotion any day. Now, welcome to today's episode with Dr. David Bindan. Wow, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. How are you doing? Once again, I welcome you to today's special episode. It's the Good Life Devotion. A daily devotion, a teaching of the truth of God's word that the Lord is bringing to us in these final ages of the church's history on the earth bring, to bring our deeper teachings that will help us to enjoy our lives on the earth, uh, bring us into a state of maturity where we can um, uh, grow into the full measure of the stature of Christ and also uh, make us more effective as a body in bringing many humans into God's eternal plan for their lives. We have been looking at the subject of the valley of Jesus, and in our just past episode, the Lord had a pep talk with us and asked us individually, What have 